There are some people today who say that it's very childish and naive to say that there are devils. The devil is not really real. But the truth is that the devil is very real, real and it is childish and naive not to accept that truth. The devil, as Jesus has told us, is a strong force for evil in our world. We can only look at the history of our world. We see, even since the time of Christ, when he walked this earth, that Satan has been warring against Jesus. And he does everything he can to strike at us. When we look at the world itself, our history is just so much war and greed and lust and desires for power. And we see that even in our own day. The work of the devil is at hand. When we look at terrorism in our country today, when we look at abortion, we look at the starving people in Africa, we look at terrorists killing innocent people all over the world, the devil is at work. And it's rather frightening. We have to remember that Jesus overcame Satan. He overcame sin and death. And we only need to keep ourselves closely aligned with Christ. If you're like me, it sometimes gets overwhelming when I look at all the problems in our world today. But I'm not going to solve those problems myself. I can only do what I can do right in my own corner of the world. Jesus gave us the greatest commandment, and our strength and power comes from him. And that means to love God and our neighbor with as much unselfishness and generosity as we can. And if all of us in this corner of the world do that, we're beginning to make a difference. Satan hates us to do good. He hates it when we pray. He hates us, hates us when we're doing good to our neighbor. But we have the strength of Christ behind us. And that's the most important thing to remember, that with Jesus all things are powerful and we need not be afraid. We must trust, trust in God. Is the devil real? He certainly is. And what he would want most of all is just to pretend he's not there because then he can do much more work. What we have to do is just, when we are experience temptations and evil thoughts of any kind, it's the devil that's tempting us, and we have to turn away from them very quickly. Just by saying the name of Jesus, he will flee. And so don't live in fear, but live in trust of God. I think that's the message tonight. And in the scriptures too, how even in the time of Jeremiah, the people just refused to listen to God. And when they did, everything went wrong in their lives. And you know and I know that when we do our, keep ourselves close to the Lord, even in time of great difficulty, he walks with us, he carries it with us, he helps us to endure with patience. And that's what we, the kind of grace we need from God. So as our Lenten journey continues, we hopefully are keeping ourselves more focused on Jesus each day during this Lent. So our celebration of Easter will be a time of great joy knowing that we not, need not fear, but simply trust in our loving God. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.